Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Are you ready to duel the most annoying deck in the game? Well, you better be... Because you gotta do it eventually. So, ready or not, here we go. Hi, it's you again. You ready for a duel? Yes. And when you duel me, it's for six prizes. Shall we start then? Strange Psy Shock deck. And oh boy. I, I really don't recommend that you use your drawing cards, in all honesty, because the whole thing that he's going to stall you out for the most part through the entire game, he's trying to get out Alakazam, but he doesn't do a very good job of it. <laughs> uh, I mean, you might just do so just because I said that just to spite me, but if he doesn't get Alakazam, it's a really, really long game. So we are going to see how things turn out here. An energy removal app just to prevent him from fetching. See, he's got a lot of card drawing cards like Kangaskhan here, which further um, allows him to get ahead in cards of decking out than I do. So, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to those Professor Oaks because the turns are just gonna fly right by with all of his stalling tactics. I should say the cards will just draw right by. Uh, energy removal. Yeah, yeah, I say, yeah. <laughs> Energy removal is one powerful card. Let's get that on there. And I'm tempted to switch over to uh, Machop, but I think I'll do that as a surprise to wipe out Kangaskhan. Um, because, you know, like when it gets down to less than 40 HP, unless he's gonna do a scoop up, which he can do, which is another thing that stalls tremendously. Um, Pop that on there. And another flare. Uh, and another thing is that you can't like power up a single Pokemon, like get an Arcanine out or Charmeleon or Charizard out, because he's got Mr. Mime, and that can prevent you from doing too much damage at once. So that's another issue, and now I am... I'll just continue to flare, actually. Because I... Would prefer to stall oh, scoop up. There it is. <laughs> so I didn't get the knockout. But uh, yeah, that's the that's the annoyance of his deck, <laughs> basically. But anyway, uh, I prefer not to put out Machop because I'll be able to use Machop versus worse Pokemon. But look at how much HP his Pokemon have. He's got a lot of colorless Pokemon with a lot of HP. Chansey, Kangaskhan, Snorlax, that sort of thing. So it's just a ridiculous amount of stalling that he can do to try and get that Alakazam. Uh, retreats. The Machop. Put the pressure on that egg. <laughs> he can knock it out in three turns. Providing that he doesn't get scrunches. Oh, I got scrunches. It, it's, he just has a deck that he doesn't let you do much of anything. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can attack every so often, like, between scrunches, but most of the time you're gonna be doing zero damage like that. Or he's gonna be scooping up. And he just runs himself out of cards. Um, um, yep, I'll do that. Because my deck, I mean, he, his deck can be swept. To an extent, if he doesn't get Mr. Mimes, and he doesn't have Mr. Mime yet, because he would have put it on the bench. Mr. Mime and Alakazam is like his main, main, main combo, I guess you could say. So, yeah, and there goes a Chansey! <laughs> Here comes another Chansey! Great! Oh, and Snorlax! <laughs> it's gonna take forever. Forever, I say. <laughs> forever and a half. No, forever and three quarters. Um, I'll keep those plus powers to surprise them a little bit later on. Because maybe I'll be able to take all the prize cards. But most of the time, you win by decking him out. Uh, get that on there, and continue the low kicks. Oh yeah. Stretching those thigh muscles. <laughs> I guess I could use a bill because he's got less cards than I do in his deck. It's a matter of counting cards, I guess you could say, in a different way than you would at blackjack tables. 
Hmm. Fetch. Yep, he's fetching. He's a fetching now. And this is where I'm gonna surprise him with the plus powers. Uh, because what I'll do here is I'll low kick this turn for 40, and then I'll plus power the next turn for 50. But don't tell him. Don't tell him. Shh. <laughs> so he's gonna keep drawing cards out. He's trying very hard to get that Alakazam, I'm sure. Um, even if he gets Alakazam, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I got a Kangaskhan of my own there. And plus power, of course, as I said. And then low kick for the prize card. And we'll see, got another Kangaskhan of fetching. Uh oh, Abra. That can't be good. Well, we'll see next turn if he decides to Pokemon breed it or something like that. I guess, but for now, I'm going to nail it with a low kick. Well, nail Kangaskhan with a low kick. Uh, if I had a uh, gust of wind, I would be tempted to use it, and then plus power, and then knock out Abra, you know, with a low kick, just to prevent him from being able to get Alakazam out, because Alakazam is a really, really stally Pokemon. But I'm just going to play uh, based off of what I see here. So, yep, low kick. Because since he didn't Pokemon breed into Alakazam, uh, things seem to be going relatively well. Uh oh, another Abra. Oh god, Kadabra. <laughs> Alright, no need to recover, please. <laughs> um, I think what I'm gonna do here is. Oh shoot, no! I wanted to. Ah! I wanted to switch to Arcanine and then take down. Ah! Well. Uh, I guess it's not that bad, because he's gonna knock out Machop, and then I'll just only have to use a Flamethrower instead of a Takedown, which means that I'll be able to do, um... Oh, he, he didn't even use, um, Super Psy there. Interesting. Okay, attach it to Arcanine only! And I might as well discard the fire to do my retreat, because it's not gonna be useful on Machop after all of my deck build. So I guess I got use out of that fire energy after all. <laughs> well, I, I guess I'm doing pretty well, I suppose, but he still might stall me out. You never know. I should say he might still get Alakazam out and cause me great amounts of ire. Um, 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 um. Uh, takedown, I guess. Because I'll leave him with 10 HP, so... If he pulls any surprises... Oh, scoop up, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't there be a scoop up? Okay... Uh, I guess I'll do two flamethrowers this time, because I just got the double colorless. So here we go, flamethrower! Maybe he'll think he'll be able to stall me out with um, energy removal or something like that. Oh, oh, looks like I win! And honestly, this was... This went a lot better than I thought it was gonna go. I should say a lot faster than I thought it would go. And better too, actually. Because he didn't get the Alakazam, he didn't get the his Mr. Mimes. All he all he was doing was stalling for pretty much the whole game. Wow. <laughs> That's an unusually clean win against Murray. Now give me that bad not badge, no, club medal. Hmm? I lost? Hmm. Well, you must be pretty good if you're trying to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Here, take the Psychic Medal. Six out of eight collected! Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? And here, take this Laboratory Booster Pack. Oh yeah! Imposter Professor Oak again. Okay. Um, ba da ba doo Nine Tails Game Boy version special version to only see in the Game Boy. Um, okay, I'll think of a new strategy, so come see me again. Oh, I'll be waiting. <laughs> he uses the same deck all the time, so I don't know what he means by having a new strategy, unless he means play his cards differently? I don't know, but anyway! I'm out of here. <laughs> now, over here, there is... What? I thought there was a challenge cup going on after you get the, the sixth medal. Hmm, maybe it's after the seventh. 
Hmm. Well, in any case, I guess I can go over to the uh, next place here. I'll go over to the Water Club, even though my deck might have great amounts of ire. Hello, welcome to the Water Club. This is a club devoted to water Pokémon. There are many different types of water Pokémon, so it's fun just to collect them. Do you know I'm Makuni? He's a suspicious-looking guy dressed in all dressed all in black. You find him dancing away in the lounge in one of the clubs. He stands out, so it shouldn't be too hard to uh, identify him. But maybe you shouldn't go near him. <laughs> uh, I definitely want to go near him because he's got some rare cards that I'd like to get, and he's pretty dang funny. You'll see. Sarah and Amanda, the Water Club, are twins. No wonder they look so much alike. Mm, hey, we don't use Fire Pokemon cards here at the Water Club. I have this for Arcanine, but I prefer Lapras. I don't have a Lapras, unfortunately. If you own a Lapras, would you mind trading it for my Arcanine? I would like to trade, but hey, what are you trying to pull? You don't have a Lapras. Let's see me when you get a Lapras. She gives you a uh, promotional Arcanine card, so you most certainly want to get that from her later. All Amy, the master of the club, is lately asleep. <laughs> She's bored because she doesn't have anybody to duel. Well, I better fix that, huh? <laughs> So anyway, over here, this is the Water Club. It's a delightful lounge over here, and uh oh, hey, stop! This is a restricted area. Amy, the club master is resting. The person resting over there is Amy, the club master. If you wish to duel Amy, go defeat Sarah and Amanda first. Then I will test your skill. And if by chance you should win, I will introduce you to Amy, the club master. So yeah, I gotta defeat these two girls first, and then I'll go battle him, and then I'll go battle her. Got it? Good. Now, since there isn't all that much time left in this part, I'll go and duel her. You'll see why in just a sec. It feels so good to swim in the pool. Do you want to take a swim, or would you rather duel? I would love to duel. I can't swim. <laughs> There'll be two prizes. The duel will be one match. Okay, let's start. She has the Waterfront Pokémon deck, and this is a duel for a mere two prizes. Yeah, seriously, two prizes. The smallest amount of prizes in the game. So that's why I decided to duel her, because this duel should not take very long at all. Um, I'll put out Rattata because it's neutral and I don't have any energy cards and I don't know what kind of energy cards I will draw. Um, even if I go for a Professor Oak or I pick an energy card for uh, Computer Search, it would be kind of a, of a waste. But yeah, see, two, two prize cards, it's, it's ridiculously short. <laughs> so this is probably the best way to get uh, particular booster packs, I guess you could say. Um, you know, that she hands out after you defeat her, because she has, you know, I mean, a certain type of booster pack. I forgot what she gives out, but if you want to get this type of booster pack quickly, well, yeah. <laughs> Go on and uh, duel her very, very rapidly. Anyway, let's do a smoke screen and hope that that little polywaggler there can't attack me. We'll see, though. <laughs> mm hmm. It's gonna try and walk on, of course. Awesome, tastic. And I was gonna say a fire energy card would be nice, but I guess I could take that. Now what I'm gonna do here is retreat back to Rattata to protect my Magmar, attach a plus power, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then uh, I'll just attack. I'll see how things go before I use the computer search. I like using computer searches to. Uh, pull stuff out that I need, and right now I don't really need anything in particular. So, uh, here comes the bubble! Ah, poopers. Well, hopefully I'll be able to get something that'll do like 40 damage outright into my hand. Um, well, Machop is a good start. Let's get that up there. And plop that there, because, you know, I could get plus powers. But anyway, I'm just gonna have to call it a turn, I guess. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to at least attack once with uh, Rattata. Because if I do so, then she'll knock out my Rattata. And then I'll pull out Machop and win the game. Sound good? I thought it would. So, okay, I guess I will get Magmar ready just in case. And let her attack Rattata. I know it's going to be a close game, because we only have two prize cards, it's always a close game with this game. But, uh, I counted the turns, and the turns are looking up in my favor. So, yep. Hot chop, and I win! <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Uh, just for kicks. I'm going to do my usual, do everything that I can on the last turn just for fun. 
Although I did forget that one time doing, uh, pr I'm forgetting Professor Oak, I seen the footage, but eh, it happens, I got a little hasty. So it's not every time, it's 99% of the time. <laughs> yeah, pop that, pop that. Bill! See what he gets. Fire eradicates. Yeah, I can't play anything. Alas, all my rats have played just this turn. So let's see what else we get! <laughs> just for fun. Because all I need to attack is with a low kick anyway, so I don't need to plan for the future. Eh, no space on the bench. Um, yeah! <laughs> Give myself an arcane eye. Another Professor Oak! <laughs> I know I'm really stalling out this last turn here just to, out of curiosity to see what I'll get. Alright, let's power up! <laughs> Energy removal on Slowpoke. And. Aww. <laughs> Low kick for the win! <laughs> Alright, let's see what a booster pack she gives us. We got another Arcanine there for a future that will never come because the game is over. And she shouldn't have been swimming so much. Should have been practicing. Uh, Pinsir. Mm -hmm. Those dugongs gonna be nice for the future. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Rain Dance deck impending. And Seal is uh, obviously a necessity with that as well. Oh, Gyarados Raid Dance deck! Oh, it's coming! It's coming so fast! I can't believe it! <laughs> By the way, it's, yeah, super, super good for Rain Dance. Uh, seeking... pretty bland for an evolution. Mm, ooh, another bill. Ho, 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 ho. I don't know if I have room for another bill, though. So I'm gonna think about that. I guess I have to pla practice more to improve my Pokemon card game. Yes, you do. So while I think about that, Bill, I am going to end out the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I duel her, and perhaps him too. You know, the guy that's preventing me from getting over to Amy. Grrr. Grrr, I say.